You're logged into Canvas now and you see a lot of different features and menus on the side and you can be a little overwhelmed with how to start navigating this. Several things you'll need to be aware of are the account, dashboard, inbox, options. Any class that you're registered for for the quarter will appear here. Old classes may also appear here and you have the ability to uh, hide them from, from view and you would just do that in under courses. Anything that appears on your dashboard will show up here or you can look at former courses or control which ones pop up down here at all courses. So when I click on that, anything with a star is something that appears on the dashboard. So if I decide, hey, these are classes coming up next quarter, they're overwhelming to look at right now, I don't wanna see them. If I click on the star, then they'll go away. So that when I go back to my dashboard, I have fewer to look at, or even at courses here, now I only have a few left. And that can be easier to navigate, a little less overwhelming, and I just have a lot because I'm an instructor and I have to see a lot of stuff. Okay, the other thing, and this page here is called the dashboard. The other thing you want to do is update your account. So if you click on account, here you can adjust your settings. Oh, it wants me to log in real quick. Always a good time. All right, so here is where if I want to change my profile picture, I could click there and then be able to upload a picture. This is really nice, especially if you take an online class where you never really interact with the instructor. This gives them a face for reference. It just makes a little more personal uh, relationship in a, an impersonal online communication classroom. You can show, adjust, you know, that this is your name that will show up, display name, your LCC email account. Um, if there are other services you want to be a part of, great. But the ways to contact, so if your instructor tries to get a hold of you, and maybe you're not good at checking your LCC email address, but you're really good at checking a personal email address, you can add it here. And you can just write what email address so that if your email, uh, if your instructor is trying to get a hold of you, campus is trying to notify you about events or closures or whatever, you're going to get it on an email that you're more likely to access and get the notification. You can also add your phone contact method, your phone, your carrier, um, and, and register your, your email so that uh, you can go ahead and receive text notifications anytime you're given an announcement. This is one of the reasons I like students to email me through Canvas because if you send me a Canvas message here, I get a text on my cell phone. Okay. Uh, there's also notification settings. That's just how often do you want to be notified of due dates or policies or messages. Generally, the stock settings are pretty good to go with, but if you're noticing you're getting a constant hassle about updates and reminders and you only want to be bugged once a week, you can change you know, what, your, what your setting is. Okay, so notify me right away, send daily summary, send weekly summary. So if you hit this calendar thing, then it can adjust it to, hey, you only get updated every once in a while, or don't even bother me, I don't need notifications. So really, you only need to worry about having announcements received regularly, and actually, I just realized I don't need that, so I'm clicking that. Uh, but receiving announcements that are created by me, you want to be able to receive those immediately because I'm trying to get a hold of you and you want to know it. So that's the crash course in your notifications and account settings and how to modify what your dashboard looks like.